Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. Right now we just made it through midnight. It's a little bit dark outside, so hopefully you guys can see, but it should be daylight before we know it. So we did start out the, well, when I started digging and all that, we have a little over $128,000 in the bank, thanks to uh, last episode's clean out and so on and so forth. So right now, we have 56000 so we basically paid right around $50,000, no, actually, almost $70,000 of, uh, of bills and rent and everything else. So that just means that we really have to stay uh, careful with what we do. I do want to pay off the loan this episode, uh, as long as we get, I think, if we can get a few good clean outs and stuff like that we should be able to do it uh if not hopefully the, by the end of the day we should be able to clean it or uh, pay everything off and uh go from there but anyway right now we're just trying to clean this up i do want to get a uh, front loader and start cleaning all this mess up but right now we're just getting the excavator and trying to clean up basically a larger mouth uh, so that we can get in here uh, easier and whatnot before we just basically clean clean it all out and make it all smooth. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, and, and so we're probably going to need to be comfortable. Uh, we'll probably need, let's say, so we need 70,000, probably about 80 ounces anyway uh, in this clean out if we want to... Uh, pay off the loan and then of course if we do pay off the loan we need to have at least I'd probably say here let's see about 9,000 19,000 eh, we're probably gonna need at least two clean outs to uh, pay off uh, or pay the loan and stuff like that so if we can do that we should be sitting pretty um, but we're going to be hoping for 80 ounces I don't believe that's going to happen because the biggest clean out we've had has only been um, what, about 67, 68 ounces or something like that. So I'm not necessarily thinking that uh, it'll be this episode. I'm hoping, like I said, but it is what it is. Can we finally get up here? Thank you. There we go. Just been trying to, like I said, clean it all out and everything else, trying to get it all squared away. Now, Trying to get the front loader in there might be a pain in the neck. That is 95%. So we're a little bit further uh, ahead than what we thought. And then, of course, like I said, should be getting daylight soon. But I, I think if we can get... If we got 80 ounces of gold, that would be beautiful. But I think we should be able to be good by uh, about 70, maybe... And then if we can get a second clean out, then that would be even better. Let's swap over to this. Maybe. No, oh, can we? Yeah, let's get in and get back out. Why won't you? There we go. I'm gonna say, well, why won't it let me change? Anyway, but uh, let's say for 70 ounces, I think. I think 70 ounces should be fine. 70 times 12. It's up there. Um, I'll, I'll do that calculation later, I guess, because we're almost done. Let's run over here. As soon as it gets done. Beautiful. All right, so let's turn that one on. And then we'll leave that on. I need to start paying attention 68 and 41 so that we're still good on fuel. Uh, what I do want to bring up actually right now is that uh here let's see so to break everything down we uh we processed 839.81 cubic yards of dirt uh we got 126.87 ounces of gold or zero seven so 126.07 ounces of gold uh we paid 40 eh, let's just round it up to forty five thousand dollars in the loan payment or uh, provisions of rent. Uh, we spent eighteen thousand and sixty-two dollars on uh, machinery rent, and then we paid ninety-one hundred dollars in the loan. So the the provisions of rent is really is is what killing us here. 
Um, now, I think this land is only $600,000, I think. But if we... I don't know if I want to buy it or if I just want to save it for the next claim. So I'm not sure. Did I get this one? Yes, I did. Uh, because the next claim, I think, is only 1.2 million, if I, if I remember correctly. Which is a lot, but I think it'll be better. So, I mean, if we have to pay some rent for a while, it's not that big, big deal. I mean, it's not great, but, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, that's, I think what we're going to do is just keep paying the rent. Um, what we also need to do is try to pay off the rent money for the machinery. It's not the best machines, um, but like I said, the duplex jigs, the shaker, and the conveyor belts is the only thing that we're paying for. And that's 19, what, 18, 19 thousand dollars. So it's really hurting us in the long run. So... If we can get rid of that and just start buying things, then that's what we should do. But right now, I think um, we need to pay that loan off because that'd be nine grand that we'll be saving, and then that's half of the uh, the rent money for the machines. So I think that's what we should be focusing on. Of course, you know, there's always multiple multiple things that we can be doing at once different plans we can do but I just think that that should be the best thing uh, on our plate right now is just trying to pay off the loan pay off the uh, well pay off the loan is definitely number one and then pay off the uh, um, oh, come on. Uh, what else pay off the the rent for the machines it's gonna be a while I, I, I know we can actually buy a duplex jig right now um, but I don't... Do I want to? I mean, we'd save probably... I think it's about a thousand or something like that if we saved it. Or if we bought one, but... I don't know. I mean, we can only really do one thing at a time, so we might as well... Maybe start buying stuff like that. But I'd want to pay off the loan first. I mean... I don't know. Like I said, there's there's multiple things that we can we can do to change... Um, you know, the, the course of actions here. Um, but I also do want to uh, remind you guys, I did bring this up, I think, like last episode or something like that. But, uh, or last week, I think it was. But anyway, so I'm starting a new job. It'll be 50 to 60 hours a week. I'm going to try my damn just to bring good content to you guys uh, still five days a week um, if, I, if I can. I'm going to try. Um, and then my wife said that she would be helping me uh, edit and upload as long as I can record it. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, but for sure, the winter time will be five episodes a week. And then the summertime is when we're mostly going to be busy uh, working and whatnot. So we're going to try to uh, we're going to try to uh, keep that you know as many as possible. But uh, so far, it is what it is. I mean, if I uh, if I can get more videos, that's great. If I can't, I mean, that's just because we don't have the time. So hopefully, you guys understand, and uh, hopefully, you guys don't get mad. But uh, I mean, it is what it is at this current junction in time. I will try to potentially uh, like get a GoPro or something like that and, and uh, take you along sometimes and uh, see what that see what that does. Uh, I think it would be pretty cool. What I'll be doing is basically driving a dump truck up in the woods and, uh, you know, spreading rock and, and uh, hanging out and whatnot. So that will be exciting, I think, you know. be uh, doing something a lot different than what I'm used to and so on and so forth. So it will be, uh, it'll be interesting. But, uh, but anyway, just letting you guys know that that is uh, what's happening. And... Um, so hopefully you guys, uh, like I said, hopefully you guys understand. And like I said, I will be bringing as much content as humanly possible. It just uh, it just may be a little bit few and far in between. Uh, I'm going to try to do at least three videos a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And, uh, we'll, I mean, like I said, we're going to try. If we can't, then um, we will try to get 
like I said, as many videos as humanly possible. And, uh, you know, that's basically all I can do. It's all I can promise. So, like I said, hopefully you guys understand. And let's get back to gold mining. So, right now, that should be done. That is all the deals so far. Everything is empty. We just need to get that cleaned up. And then start running some gold. Let's see. I'm, I'm really hoping for about 70 ounces. I'm not sure exactly where the gold is anymore. I think we got all of it. But with that being said, 123 ounces is not that great. And that's because 123 ounces of magnetite um, from the top bucket is, is definitely not good. Uh, let's see. Let's turn that off. 5% yet. So we'll put that over. We'll turn this on just for five seconds. Oh, okay. That was fast, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's put that one in here. Good 2%. Didn't do anything. Gotta love it. Uh, what is this? That's the gold. How much is in there? 51%. We'll put 78% in there. We'll do this. We'll make that an even 100. We'll put that back. We'll turn that on. Uh, okay, that should be running. Beautiful. It's under 75. You get about 25 to 7, 25 to 26% per bucket. So we're just trying to keep that up to date. 200, so that one's better. It's kind of strange how it's better than the alternative. It's kind of strange. As soon as that hits 47, we'll put that back in. We're up to 10.3 ounces so far. We've got about, what, two buckets yet? Give or take. Two more buckets, or three more buckets, I should say. We'll put that down, put that... Oh, come on. In here. We'll pick that up. There we go. 97% on that. Should have two more buckets yet. This one plus one more. There we go, that one's good. 177, that's not terrible, for sure. Start trying to put these back. Just trying to save as much time as humanly possible. Uh, we're at 30 ounces, might as well say. Hmm, I don't really have high hopes for this. Like I said, I'm not quite sure where exactly the gold is. Since we're just kind of picking up and going as we go. Go. That's a two, one more bucket left. We'll turn that off. We'll pick that up, move that over. 32% in the bucket, right? Or uh, in the deal. Oh, come on. Of magnetite. So that was actually a 100% bucket uh, together because that bucket up there had 70, I believe. We'll put this one in here. What, 47%? So, it's not looking real great for the 70. We need 20% and 65%. Or 70 ounces, or no, 20 ounces and 70%. So, blah, 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 blah. Okay. 70%? 20 ounces and 70%. Let's try to speak. Alright, let's see. So, I'm not sure if I want to... Yeah, eh, we might as well. That's what we've been now. But, no. So, this is going to be a shorter episode. I... I keep changing my mind. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double clean out and then go for the mirror. Come on, four more ounces. Are you going to give it to me? Probably not. 68.53 ounces. That's not bad. So we're two ounces away. That will give us... Here, let's do a quick math estimate here. It would be... 68.528 times... 1109 is what it was 78 or 76 thousand dollars so that get us right back up to where we were before the loan payment come out and all the payments that's not terrible so if we can do another one of those we'd have to pay pretty much a lot there we go that's off so here let's see so if we can get another one of those at 80 or 100 and 40 ounces times 30%. They're going to take 42 ounces of that. That's quite a bit. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to work. 
and uh, start digging up some more gold, get uh, the last bucket like we have been doing, and uh, hopefully we can make some more money. Like I said, we need to buy the shaker, we need to buy the duplex jigs, and the conveyor belts. Uh, and, oh, and the and the truck. I, I keep forgetting that the truck, I, I didn't buy the truck. Can I get out of here, please? There we go. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you do like what you see and the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all on the next one. And you all, take care.